What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I feel like it's been a while since a new Marvel Legends has come across. So here we are. X-Men 97 Wave 2 has started to come in. Executioner arrived actually today. So as the day I'm posting this video, he arrived. So we're going to dig into this. We're going to see what's going on here. So without further ado, let's check it out. Now tuning into the encounter culture. <laughs> All right, as promised today, we're taking a look at Executioner. Let's see what we've got going on. So continuing with the X-Men 97, this is Wave 2, first figure of Wave 2. Looking forward to seeing what it has to offer. This was a, a, a figure, a character that I was excited about when announced. Anytime I can get a new character in the display, that's a plus for me. Would I prefer it be a more comic-like version? Absolutely, but we'll get into all that later on. The big key here is, though, it's a new character. It's X-Men. I'm excited on those two fronts alone. Let's take a little bit of a look at the packaging here. So, of course, X-Men 97, it is under Marvel Studios. Executioner, nice-looking figure. Kind of bulky, got a good amount of things in here accessory wise a little warning there flip it to the back there's what else you got in the wave so you got magneto cyclops gene gray nightcrawler executioner and goblin queen i'm about 50 50 on this wave of what i really am looking forward to getting but uh, you guys let me know what you're looking for forward to down in the comments below there's a picture of your figure a digital render and there's some important information at the bottom Fresh out of the package, this is a cool looking figure. I mean, even if you're not collecting X-Men 97, for somebody like me, like I'm not specifically collecting X-Men 97, but I do love when a new character is introduced to the line. One that I would prefer this be a more comic based version of, and I'm sure that that will come some sometime down the line. Actually, I hope that it does, right? But for now, this is gonna be the stand-in in my display, in my collection, so happy to add a new character you've got uh, some accessories here he's got the weapons the alternate hand with like the blaster he's got this great long coat belt accessories the arms i mean there's a good amount of detail in here and a lot of new stuff so this is definitely where probably a lot of the budget for the line went for this wave specifically uh so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting a closer look. All right, so we can see we get a cool looking head sculpt here. I, I am gonna just assume that there's going to be some limitations to the articulation based on, you know, the coat, the, uh, the, the cape piece here, what, you know, the, the belt and everything. There are some things that are gonna be limitations to your articulation, and that's not a, a point of defense for the figure. I mean, it, just look at it. So that, that would be something that would definitely be a complaint right off the bat. So I won't uh, stay too long on that, but uh, we'll just get that addressed right away. Detail-wise, you do get this nice belt accessory. You got the FOH, Friends of Humanity, belt buckle on there. Nice metallic design through the arm. It is pinless, so that is good. You've got the bands on the arms which are a nice touch as well. Sort of shoulder pad here, clipped on, nice looking pliable plastic. So, and, and even with the coat, like the coat is fairly pliable. So I don't know that the legs are gonna be too hindered, but uh, it, it will give you some limitations. All right, let's look at the articulation though. Starting at the head, cause I assume that there's not gonna be a lot going on here. All right, so you can go side to side. He'll look down to about there. And yeah, you're not, I mean, you have the slightest angle looking up. So not a whole lot. You do get some rock side to side. And uh, I'm curious to see like if that is a peg that goes all the way down or, or what that's about. Perhaps we'll get into that to be determined. All right. Uh, Arm will go up to about there, and then you start to get some limitation with the shoulder pad there. 
Same going backwards to about there before you're really stopped. Arm will go out to about there. You do have your cut at the upper bicep. Double jointed pinless at the elbow. So you got that there. Nothing at the forearm. And then you do have the wrist. And your hinge is good for the gun holding hand. You know, sort of got that more vertical, depending on, I guess, depending on which way you look at it, right? But more vertical hinge there at the waist. So you do have that dumbbell in the waist. You can kind of almost see it. Yeah, like right there. Uh, so you do get a, a ton of range just in the waist, but that's it. You're not going to get like any additional ab crunch or anything in the upper torso area so that's your single point down at the waist but it is on that dumbbell so you do get a lot to move around with coming down to the legs you do have your cut at the upper thigh so that'll move around as you prefer as you like leg will kick up to there you do have the cut in the back of the uh, coat there so that leg will have very little limitation and of course it is double jointed pinless as well. Nothing at the calf. And you do have your typical range of motion at the ankle. Good amount of pivot. Look into the back. Same thing, you do get that split again. So that I think would be a point of contention for some people, depending on how you're going to be posing. For your accessories, the first one I wanted to go over was this. Uh, so I thought from the pictures it would be, I don't know, maybe like an alternate arm. So the arm would have popped off at the forearm or something like that. But it really is just a cylinder that slides right on there like that. Seems like a kind of uh, easy cop-out, cheap way to do that effective sure um but yeah i mean it, it's just there and you know it'll fall right off if you put it down like that gun looks good though it looks all new so i do like that cool style going on here good paint throughout you know you got that nice silver gold and that brown contrast could it have used a little more detailing there absolutely but still pretty cool looking nonetheless and then, of course, your Shi'ar Tech, right? So, pretty basic, um, but absolutely effective. Let's take a look at them holding some of these things, though. On the back, you'll notice the porthole. So, there's no sort of carrier or case or satchel or whatever for the weapons to go in. They just port right in the back there. So, the gun goes directly onto the figure. And then, these just port right in to the gun here so this way you can carry everything around pretty simple pretty effective uh, for the weapon you are a little bit limited right so like you do get this trigger finger over here uh the the gun's not really going to fit into this hand very well you do have to situate it into this hand so the thumb goes through the top there and then the trigger finger through the trigger um yeah, I don't know that I, I mean, I, I, I like how it looks, I guess, from that angle. I don't know that I love that, though, you know? It just seems like there could have been maybe a, a better way for it to hold, or maybe additional hands. I don't know that you need the trigger finger over here. All right, yeah, so there really wasn't a good way to get the rifle into this hand, uh, so you'll definitely have to use that one. So it would have been good to maybe get some additional hands. It's always good to get additional hands, right? So there you go. Those just slide right in, though. So that, I mean, <laughs> that works on this hand. These will not be able to be held in that hand. So again, additional hands. Hand issues aside, though, I, I do feel like this is going to display well. So I am looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, this the cover does continue to fall off. I mean... You could definitely just switch this around, you know, put it on there however you want. They just have it like that with the stock 
up, but uh, I don't know. Work, do whatever works for you. For your first comparison here, I grabbed the Cyclops from the Warlock wave. Figured might as well get some X-Men to stack this dude up against, right? That makes sense. So you can kind of see how he's going to fit into your display if you're not going the X-Men 97 route like I am not. So uh, you could say he's about uh, well, maybe just a, a little bit smaller, almost the exact same height. So... Uh, this Cyclops, of course, being on the Bucky Cat mold, that'll give you an idea. So he's about average amongst your Marvel Legends. So a pretty good size. He'll mix right in. Probably could be a little bit taller, but uh, I'm not going to nitpick on that. Just wanted to point that out. And for another point of reference, here he is backed up against your 2-pack Colossus. So this is the Colossus from the Juggernaut 2-pack. Uh, those of you who, you know, it's uh, been re-released, maybe you're getting your hands on it now. Yeah, give you a little uh, snapshot of that. But you can see it is significantly shorter than Colossus. So again, going to be about average height amongst your Marvel Legends. Whether you like that or not, let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about that. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. There is your X-Men 97 Wave 2 Executioner. The first of the wave that I've received. Hopefully, uh, they'll start to trickle in and I'll get some more and get some more videos up for all of you out there. Appreciate you for checking out the video. Appreciate you for staying this long if you have. Uh, a couple of things I like about this figure. I like the overall design. Like that it's a new character for the collection. Like the accessories it comes with. A couple of things I don't like about this figure. Wish it did come with some extra hands. Wish that it had a little bit more range of motion. And uh, maybe this was a little less cheap feeling looking i don't know i don't know what the the alternative is there an alternate arm or something but it just seems like a cheap accessory still an accessory and still something that makes sense i'm sure you know across the board but could have been executed a a little bit differently but that's just my two cents let me know what you think about it down in the comments below Overall, a pretty good figure. I'm excited to get it in the collection. Excited for a new character, as I've said a few times now. So I'm I'm here for it. I'm in for the figure. I would recommend it. You know, if you are kind of in the same mode as I am when it comes to collecting, then I think this is something that you'll be happy about. If uh, you kind of are on the fence about it, maybe you can wait on it. It's not necessarily something that you have to run out and get right away. There are some other figures in the wave that are probably going to fit into that category a little bit better for you. But for me, this was right on par. So I like it. I'm here for it. Looking forward to see what it looks like in the collection. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Appreciate you for checking out the video. Thanks for hanging out this long if you have. Of course, you can find me on these socials below. So feel free to check it out if you'd like. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe below though. And until next time. Take it easy. I've been erased, I've been replaced. You got a cold chance in your face. It's fun to pretend that you want it to end. I'd rather be a drinking with my friends. When we go out, you'll never see us again.